some of the products I use. I'll start with my gorgeous paint palette here. I use just a, a baking tray. And the reason I do that is because it's so hot here and I need to keep my paint wet. So what I do is I put in some tin, or paper towel, you can see the paper towel here. I'll pour some water on it and then I'll take a sheet of tracing paper or parchment paper and put it down on top and you can feel that it's cool and, and wet but the water doesn't come through. And then I put my colors on. And at the end of the day, I just pop it into a plastic bag and it keeps all my paints nice and wet. Here are a few of my favorite blending brushes. They're thick and they're inexpensive. They're from Home Depot and they, they blend up color beautifully. Some of these too are from Home Depot and I make a lot of marks with these. And they work well for me because they're a little bit thicker and they keep my brush strokes a little bit looser. I use thin brushes like this also to make marks, or uh, I use it to apply my glazing liquid before I start my picture. And going to, the, to my glazing liquid here, this stuff is like my liquid gold. I can't live without it. It uh, helps keep all my paints wet so I can create um, really transparent colors, and it's very useful. I suggest this highly. And what I do is I put it in a cup, I'll put a, you know, a little bit in a cup, and then I'll add some water, and I usually do a three to one ratio. Moving on to some paint colors, because I get asked all the time what paint colors I'm using. Um, these are just from a shop here in Cabo San Lucas. And I mix these two together with a little bit of white, and it produces this beautiful coral color. Two of these, Galleria paints that I just received from Dick Flicks are gorgeous. This is pale violet, pale lemon, and they're just gorgeous colors. I know they're going to become a favorite of mine. Alrighty, so uh, I think I explained that well enough. So now I'm going to move my camera around, get a bird's eye view, and let's get started. Wow. 